whiff of a new perfume designed to make men more desirable. Like the U.S. Marine Corps, Dr. Winifred Cutler is looking for a few good men. That she hopes will help her answer some puzzling questions. Like, when it comes to women, what does Mel Gibson have that, that you don't? Well, it might be what's in this little bottle. It is filled with synthetic pheromones, a substance produced in our bodies that the Haverford biologist has already been selling as an additive for women's perfume. It's a sex attractant. That's what pheromones are. A female pheromone in a dog will attract male dogs. Okay. A female pheromone that we're using in our women's product attracts men. Women tell us men swarm around them. And now, for the first time, we're testing a men's product. For which she needs 16 male volunteers, who must first meet specific requirements. You need to be from 25 to 40 years old. No facial hair, heterosexual, and normal in appearance. Not breathtakingly handsome or hideously ugly. And the reason for that is we want men who are about average looking. At the end of the eight-week study, we will see whether the men who had pheromone have what we are looking for, which is promoting the romance in their lives. All from a liquid attractant that she hopes to prove can provide a powerful boost to enhance a person's raw animal magnetism. Talk about sensational. It's the way to attract a man or woman of your dreams with a little dab of love potion. Channel 10's Meg Grant has the story of these intriguing pheromones. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Every one of us has thrilled with the bewitching, bittersweet joy that is attraction, falling in love. And every one of us has wished that we could make someone fall in love with us. So you want the one you love to fall in love with you. Well, I've talked to a lot of experts and I've got some practical advice. But you know, I haven't met a soul who could actually define what love is. It's always going to be a mystery as far as I'm concerned. That's Dr. Louis Slowinski from Pennsylvania Hospital. And meet biologist Dr. Winifred Cutler, who believes that she's on to a very good thing, but still... This is a mystery. Dr. Cutler's research has led her to a potion that she believes contains the key to human attraction synthesized human pheromones, the substance which provide other animals, like dogs, the blueprint for sex. So a dog female in heat will attract male dogs, not male rats or male humans. And a woman who puts a pheromone on, if it's working for her, will attract male humans, men, not uh, rats, monkeys, or dogs. Dr. Cutler was one of the early researchers who proved that humans actually do secrete pheromones. Not all sex researchers agree that wearing human pheromone can attract the opposite sex, but Dr. Cutler says the proof is in the potion, the response that she's had to her synthesized pheromone, which women mix with their own perfumes. Not a stampede, but some comment. Maybe it is just easier to dab a bit of synthesized human pheromone behind your ears and hope that Mother Nature will do the rest. Meg Grant, Channel 10 News.